Justin, uh, just heard that Whoopi Goldberg has announced he's going to marry Gerard Depardieu and will now be known as Whoopi Doopie Doo. Uh, <laughs> First laugh and relax. So, uh, lovely, uh, I'd love to be here. Uh, just back from holiday recently, as you can tell by the tan. Uh, not, uh, not one of those people that tans very well, I'm afraid. Just goes red and a bit blotchy and then starts peeling. Got a little bit just starting there. I don't know if you can, don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's, oh, that's a, oh, that's a cracking bit. <laughs> It's not real skin, it's, it's glue. <laughs> uh, just, um, just tell you, the best time, best time I ever did that, not during a show, Halloween night. Um, I was sitting at home, there was a knock at the door, open the door, a little kid standing there. He said trick or treat, I pulled off half my face, and he gave me his sweets. Uh, <laughs> didn't actually give them to me, just dropped them and ran. But I, uh, Get, get the other side of it as well, because it's just fairly unpleasant. There we go. I was, I was, I was doing a show a couple of nights ago. I, I didn't get off properly. I left a bit hanging down like that. Uh, didn't realise. Walked into a takeaway after the show uh, and got a job, actually. Uh, you're the guy we're looking for. This, uh, this is also my impression of Monica Lewinsky. And um, we've gone too far. Okay, so I... Um, so I should explain what we're going to I'm not from Scotland, I'm afraid. I'm from, uh, from England, from the West Country. <laughs> Explains the tractors outside. And uh, from the West Country, named after Fred and Rosemary, of course. And uh, was... Well, <laughs> members of their family in. And uh, bloody lucky to be here, if you ask me. And I, uh, because... It is weird. The stories that happen in little places like the West Coast, we don't make it into the national news very often. And there was an amazing story in Bristol a couple of weeks ago. I don't know whether you saw it. Made it into the national news. Uh, two women in Bristol fell out of a five-story block of flats and survived the fall. Miraculous story. Just got up and walked away. And I thought it was quite interesting seeing how the different national papers actually covered the story. Because the Times did an in-depth study of the speed at which they fell, the force they hit the ground, and the bones they should have broken. And the sun... Showed you which direction they fell in. So, uh, there goes, um... <laughs> Straight down, that's good to see, isn't it? Uh, <coughs> Law of gravity hasn't been repealed recently, so I, um... So I mentioned Bristol, I'm not actually in Bristol so from a place near Bristol, uh, Bath or Bath, if you prefer, which has got a reputation for being a little bit twee, a little bit posh. Is, is that how you feel about it here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do, don't you? So, yeah, it, is, it is quite posh. Uh, we've got a Kentucky Fried Pheasant, which is nice. Um, <laughs> it's, it's knife and fork looking good. And uh, you don't use our fingers. Good, OK, there we go. What a top idea for a comedy tent. Put the miserable bastard right in the front row. There we go. I, um, <laughs> you having a good time? Yeah, well, tell your face. That'd be good. Okay, I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for picking on you, but it's going bloody well at the moment, so uh, I think you could be in for a bit more shit before I leave the stage. Uh, so we've got that in Bath, we've got uh, a drive through Laura Ashley as well, it's rather nice. Um, not, not meant to be a drive through just get about the class of Ram Raider in Bath, and uh, anyone here from Wales, Ram Raider means something different over here, but it is a... Uh, oh, bestiality, I, I could talk about it till... Till the cows come, actually. I, uh... <laughs> so, it is weird doing this for a living. Quite often I'm, I'm hanging around outside after a show, and people often come up to me at the end of the show and say, um... <laughs> <laughs> but some are more positive than that, and, uh... and they're the ones I talk to. And they say, they say, how'd you get started in this business? And it started when I was a child. I was very unpopular when I was at school, and I couldn't work out why. So I took up magic. I, I was still unpopular, but now I had a reason. And uh, when, I, when I left school, I wanted to become a professional magician. I told my mum, she was amazed. I thought that's a, a bloody good start. So I, um, I, some of you lot couldn't mingle with this lot. Over here, I mean, like, I'm, uh, over here I'm doing comedy, over here tragedy. And I'm, I, uh, I, stay where you are, madam. Okay, I, uh, I, so 
It's been a bit of a sad year for Mr. because unfortunately in the last 12 months, two of my heroes have died. Uh, in the comedy field, George Burns, American comedian, big, big hero of mine, died uh, a year ago to the day almost actually. And a couple of days ago in the magic field, well he didn't say it was magic, he said it was psychic and paranormal. That's all bollocks, trust me. It was, it was tricks for all those years. A couple of days ago, Yuri Geller died. So as a bit of a tribute to Yuri here this evening, well I thought I'd... not know about that. No. Trash action, scratch back of his neck and his head fell off, apparently. So I, uh... <laughs> Love that bit every day, every day. There's someone in the front going, I didn't know, I didn't know. I, uh... So don't feel bad, someone always says it. Uh, not quite as loudly as you, do they? They're going uh... to do a little bit of spoon bending for you. It should prove this is, uh, this is a real spoon, first of all. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't prove a thing. It's, it's Morse code for start the car. Actually, anyway, I. Uh... <laughs> Start the car sounds better than the reality for God's sake. <laughs> I'll paddle up the bike. But anyway, so we're uh, going to. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a real spoon. Should just get that checked, sir? We'll just start. Sorry, it's a bit of a drag. There we go. Just check that's a real spoon. That's lovely. Thanks so much, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. It was a I'm not right. I'm just very childish. I'm twice in a row. There we go. I, uh, <laughs> Someone yesterday actually stupid enough to go for it three times in a row. And, uh, uh. No. Okay, so what's that? Uh, it's funny when it's someone else, isn't it? And it was, uh, I, um, what Yuri Geller used to do was take a spoon, rub it with his finger, and the spoon will bend. Now, but I thought it would be much more impressive if you took a spoon, you rubbed your finger, and your finger went. That is a cracking finger, look at that. Dude. You can get the wax out and everything, it's going to go right around the corner. And I haven't got a girlfriend, I can't understand it, I really can't. Like... Oh, I should have loads, I can do all of them, actually, but I... Uh... <laughs> I've got that one as well, which is quite funny. Um, <laughs> well, it, it's funny when it's your finger. Anyway, I... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh, you know the question, Mr. Universe? I was Mr. Impotent last week. Um, came nowhere. Uh, amongst pretty stiff competition, I can tell you.